Ending there, we're only just 59 days away now from that total solar eclipse, and it'll be all over the Texas skies. Many of us will stop what we're doing to look up, and so will the visually impaired and the blind. Can you believe it? They will. Six News reporter Jordan Sartor Francis spoke to visually impaired Central Texans to see their unique preparations for the big day. Jordan, what'd you learn? Chris, there is very innovative technology available for the visually impaired and the blind community so that everybody is able to enjoy the eclipse. Somebody next to them uh, verbalizing what's happening with the eclipse having, and having some models with like two circles kind of intertwining. The visually impaired and blind community is eager for 2024's arrival of the total solar eclipse. They're speaking out about ways event organizers and the seeing community can aid their experience that afternoon. Liz Wise Carver of the National Federation of Blind Texas is reveling in being independent that day. There's a few visual interpretation services like IRA and Be My Eyes, where you could actually use your phone camera and hold it up and say, hey, can you describe what's happening with the sun in the sky? They'll be using viewing event accommodations like tactile representations of what's happening, phone apps, and there's even a book published by NASA entitled Getting a Feel for Eclipses Written in Braille. College professor Cassandra Runyon says the book was made out of necessity. And my co-author also had a couple of students who were blind, and when the eclipse was coming through in 2017, we both realized mm, we don't have any resources for them. With the spark to produce a visually impaired friendly book on the eclipse, Dr. Runyon thanks NASA for their support of the visually impaired community. They were surprised with the concept, but they immediately supportive of the whole thing, and they've been terrific. And if you are blind or visually impaired, there are safety guidelines you should follow as you look up. I would need to follow the same health advice that anybody who is fully sighted would, you know, if you don't want to stare directly into the sun, right? You want to, if you're going to look at it, use the proper eye protection. For more information, we will have you updated through April 8th at KCENTV.com slash Eclipse. Chris. Yeah, something you don't even think about. That's really great. Good story today, Jordan. Thanks.